Hi everyone, Bruce Lacanza here with Bruce's Private Security. How's it going? So, I know it's been a while since I've posted. I know it's been a while since I've done much of anything. I know it's been a while for everything. But today I'm here with some great things, some free gifts, and a very simple, easy video for all of you today. Probably five to ten minutes, not exactly sure yet. But the video today is going to be basically what I carry in my assault gear or combat gear. Basically what I wear in my vest while I am in full uniform. And everything else that I do basically like that. So today, we have a few giveaways. The first one is a $25 iTunes gift card. So you can see that. So this gift card is basically going to be given away to one of my subscribers slash fans. All you have to do is go follow me on my Instagram, Bruce Leica. Link is in the description and in the video right here, probably right here, or right underneath my gift card right here. Anyway, if you do that, you may have a chance to win this free gift card. So, that's pretty much it for our intro. I hope you all are doing well, and let's get right into the video. Okay, so right here, you can see my vest. You can... See, it's the same one I wear in all my videos. Um, I've worn this basically from day one. It's a good vest. It is not, just to clarify, this is not a bulletproof vest at all. This is basically a protected vest, and I use it for carrying some extra instruments, tools of the trade, and it's not bulletproof. As you can see, it's, it's actually very flimsy. It's not that strong, but it is stab-proof, stab-resistant. And listen, I have metal plates, not sure if you can see here, but you can actually slide them into these zippered pockets, but I never really use them, because think about it, I'm not actually ever going into combat situations, obviously if I was, I would pop those plates in. Okay, so let's get right into it. So, obviously, I'll just show you the obvious things, so here is where I keep my keys, ATV keys, safe keys, you know, gun keys, everything like that, I just keep right here usually when I'm using it. I like to keep my phone here so it's accessible. As you can see, I just use a standard holster for my phone. Um, I use this for other things too. Old, it's been worn, you can see that. Um, let me just put this in here. Let me just put, see, phone goes in. Very, it's sturdy, strong, no problem with that at all. Anyway, so just a standard phone holster, which I would always have clipped onto this pocket right here. I carry my tactical knife, it's actually with the firefighter's knife would usually carry, it's spring assisted, it's got a little clip on the back, very good weapon I would say, just in case you ever need it, it's an M Tech knife, I would highly recommend their knives, um, this is not sponsored by M Tech or Ballistic or anything like that, it's just a knife that I really like to carry, it's got a good feel to it, got a good thing, pop it open easily, easy to close also, so that's just another thing I like to carry. In this pocket, I usually would put spare things, whatever else I would need. So this is usually empty, this one. And obviously, I just keep my knife clipped onto here. Um, this, what a good feature about this vest is that I like this little holder here. This is why I keep my handcuff key. You all know what that looks like. This is just a key for, you know, for locking them. Clip, little handcuff key. I like just keeping that on there just so we have it if we ever need it. Over here on this side... I have just a standard flashlight. It's a very basic unit. Um, probably doesn't even work yet. Probably doesn't even work, actually. Yeah, so it doesn't even work, as you can see. But I usually carry it. It's been a while, again, since I've had it. I like it. It's got a good grip on here. That way, if you can grasp it. I like the push button, the feel to it. A few LEDs. It's usually very bright, but right now, not working. In this pocket, I usually keep some sort of, like, flash bang or explosive of some sort. Right now, we're just can't carrying standard fog, standard fog, fox, um, you know, tear gas. Just a regular unit, no explosive, um, just direct spray, finger here spray, very simple, easy unit. So, I just usually carry that. So, moving on over to this side, this is also a spare pocket. I'm not sure, I don't, yeah, I don't even have anything in here right now, so we are good with this. This is these two are like the spare ones, what I carry my extras in. Now, over here, I usually like to carry my Mace brand pepper spray gun. 
Um, obviously for all these, for my videos and when it's not in use, I don't keep it loaded. I keep it loaded with water cartridges. This is a water cartridge right here. I'll just show you some more in a minute. It's a very good gun, very light, compact. The orange tip design clearly shows that it is a fake gun and that it will cause no physical harm except that you will be sprayed with, you know, the mace. You can put many different kinds of mace into this weapon. I prefer just using standard mace, which comes with this. I've never actually had to fire this in one of my videos or in any type of combat situation, so it's good. I just keep it. It also has a cool flashlight that comes with it, two strobe modes. Very good gun to just have around. So, moving on, so up here in these two pockets, I keep spare cartridges for my mace gun. Oh, here you go. So, as you can see, we keep the water practice cartridges. Now, I put these in here just for the video. Never have been used. But I put these in here just for the video because, you know, I don't want to carry them around via, you know, standard mace weapons. So, we use the water practice cartridges. They're always good. Yeah, I think I got another one right here. They're always good just to carry with you um, for whatever you need or anything like that. Moving on to this pocket. Let's see, I think I keep communications. Yes, this is basically a cheap track phone. What this is used for is I have this on usually when I operate this vest or wear it. This, can, this records audio every time I'm using this and it also has a tracker on it. So basically... It just tracks where I am, tracks what I'm doing. You can also make cheap phone calls. Let's say I'm stranded, I need help with something. Yeah, just a regular cheap track phone. Up here on the left shoulder, on the right shoulder, I keep, this just says clip. I, let's say I want to clip like, um, if I'm not sure, I don't have anything on me right now. No, let's say I just want to clip like someone, something in there. I have a knife, let's say. I just want to clip that thing in there, like obviously a small knife, but clearly I just keep that there as a clip just for emergencies. Over here, we keep just a normal Bruce Lacazzi Jr. here, the name tag, private security, the name tag, and I usually keep my radio clipped on here. Also, when we're carrying the uh, rubber rounds, we always put the bullets in here or on here. Let's flip over to the back. So as I'm flipping, if you can see how thin it is, it's a pretty easy to use vest. Oh wow, it's been a while since I've worn this. It's pretty dirty. Sorry about that. Up here we have some more Velcro for displaying badging or every, anything like that. I actually have a bigger private security label, which, but right now I just have this, this one on here. Uh, and this is obviously the Vest's makeup. Very good company. Yakita, Yamada, you know, something. Can't really pronounce it, but to whoever made this good, I recommend getting one. Over here, since I do do tech work at some points on the field, this is really meant for your handcuffs, but I tend to carry my handcuffs on my belt. In here, I carry some extra cording for basically hooking up my field laptop to whatever I'm doing. Just good to have, just in case. I've never even used it, but at some point it could be helpful to have. Here is my med kit. I carry very simple items. I got some gauze, I got some band-aids, some gauze pads, some band-aids. I think I have a few pain relievers in here and some neosporms. Just always good just to have if you're, you know, in combat, if something happens. Light med kit, nothing important. So that really is going to conclude our video for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you understand everything about the vest. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or text or call me, or shoot me an email. Visit my website, bpscys.weebly.com. Okay, see you next time. Hi right, everyone, Bruce LaCosse here again, Bruce Fire Security. Hope you liked that video. I thought it was instructional, easy to understand. You know, a little boring, but I'll think of some better things for the next couple of months. I'll be posting hopefully at least once a week now, so we'll see if I can do that. Uh, I want you to hit up the merch, buy the merch, feel free to contact me, any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me, my info's down here in the description, follow me on Insta, Snapchat, Twitter, all right here in the description, and in the video, I'm sure you can see, not the point, okay, I hope you all have a great day, hope to see you again, if you're not already a subscriber, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, leave a like, 
I hope you like my content, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.